Table Salt MTG. Welcome back, card cooks. This is Conrad on Table Salt MTG. We've got a new video for you today. Let me know in the comment section if you end up liking it. We've got a little, uh... We're going to do a box opening today. We'll be doing a lot of these on the channel, along with, you know, everything else. Uh, I open a lot of products, so let's get started here. Hopefully I pull it to Fairy. It's like at $60 right now, which is outrageous. I don't know why. Get that out of here. Oh, no box topper. Boo, hiss. Good old ASMR. The squeaky squeaky. Alright, let's get these set up here. This out of the way. Alright. Bear with me, first one. I'll get better as we go. Although I am a fast pack cracker, let me tell you. Maybe not as fast as Rudy, but who knows? We'll find out. Pack one, pick one. Just kidding. Well, let's all look through a few of the commons. Go pretty slow, and then we will pick up the speed drastically. Ooh, look at that. Masker Worm out the gate. Uh, shiny Uncommon. There you go. Alright, so I like to sort as I go. I put all the commons, uh, uncommons one pile, and then I like to do the commons uh, by color as I go. It's a pre-sorting method. Makes it a heck of a lot easier on me after the fact. So, and I'm pretty fast at it, so we'll, uh, here we go. Right to the rare. I'm not a huge fan of that card. But, hey, you know, you can't get two mythics back-to-back -back all the time. Sometimes, not all the time. Oh, well, uh, apparently that's my um, pseudo-rare uh, box topper. Well, I spoiled that, sorry. And a uh, Maze Mind Tomb. I've actually been pretty impressed with this when it comes to drafting. Um, good thing. So we'll put that uh, with the rares. So we'll put the Maze Mind there. Uh, the Uncommons right here. And then we'll sort these real quick. So hopefully you're all doing well in these crazy, crazy times that uh, we live in. Um, uh, you know, COVID, I've gotten into MTGA more, um, although I did just recently hang out with a couple of friends, we did a four-person draft outside on one of my friend's decks, that was, uh, certainly interesting. Let's see, what do we got, 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 ooh, ah, temple. Ooh, cool swamp though. Uh, that's pretty sick. I love. I I like that they started doing alternate arts and things of that nature. It really lets the the artists, um, you know, explore, you know, things that they wouldn't have been able to do not even just like a couple years ago. Um, so a lot of people aren't a fan of the, uh, you know, the alternate arts, but I I certainly am. Here into the abyss. Saffron all just actually did a uh, cool video. Uh, I think it was a against the odds, or it's going to be an against the odds card. There we go. Well, we'll go straight to the rare. And I missed it. Oh, Terror of the Peaks! Ha ha ha! Use! I actually really, really, really like the artwork. It is probably one of my favorite dragon artworks that I've seen in a very, very long time. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I also think it's a good card. It probably won't see as much standard play as it should. Um, all things considered, you know. Uh, but, hey, you know. All right.
Oh, so we got a foil. Ooh, foil common. All right, and Chandra's Incinerator. I love the art on this. Check out that art. It is amazing in the sense that it's very old school. It kind of reminds me of, like, you know, it's got, like, a not quite alpha beta feel to it, but maybe, like, a Legends kind of feel to it. So I'm pretty excited. Let's just tidy up these piles here. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm already two Mythics in, and... Only a few packs in, so that's exciting. Sorting, 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 sorting. All right, let's see. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go. I'm going to try a couple different things as I do box openings. Um, I've got a case coming in. Uh, it'll be in a little after the 4th of July. Uh, ooh, Joel, Ra Joel Riel. Riel. Wow, that is a hard name to pronounce. Um... So that I will be doing on my channel. I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a live stream with it or and open the whole thing on stream or if I'm going to do the like a, just an entire recording and do the whole case at once or if I'm going to do one box at a time. But I've got a couple cool ideas. Um, what we got? Ah, Demonic Embrace. That card is probably constructed playable at post-rotation, I think. Um, I love that they made dogs a creature type now that uh, always never made sense to me that they had cats but they didn't have dogs so all those hounds are now <laughs> uh, dogs ain't nothing but a hound dog if you will <laughs> all right next pack here we go all right uh, let's 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 slip through this one do a pack one, pick one. Why not? Uh, let's see. Come on. Uncommon. Probably not. Trollarian Kraken, actually, is probably a good pack one, pick one. Battle. Ooh, we got a uh, Showcase Bass Rails Lieutenant. And there's my Foil Rare. Not the best Foil Rare. It's kind of uh, disappointing a little bit. Um, oh, well. I mean, I'm glad that they finally put this into a standard set. Uh, but... Oh well. Faster is Lieutenant. Very good card. So if we were doing non-rare, I probably would consider pack one picking the Tolarian uh, Kraken um, and or the Battle Rattle Shaman. I have always been impressed with this card. Um, I think it's fantastic. It, it really catches people off guard. That extra two pa power a turn is pretty huge. So... And we'll, we'll, we'll mix in a few pack one pick ones throughout the video here. Oh, cool. Spicy Forest. I like Spicy Forest. Uh, see the truth. See, I you know, a lot of people were big on this card. I'm not big on this card, especially for standard, because we don't really have a lot of ways to, um, you know, recast it from the graveyard right now that I can think of off the top of my head. Maybe I'm missing something. Feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Rare, 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 rare. Ooh, a Grim Tutor. Okay, all right, so three Mythics, you know. Three Mythics, probably maybe a third of the way through the box. That's not terrible. Um, hopefully we get some, a few more spicy pulls. Uh, I mean, Grim Tutor is basically a strictly worse version of Demonic Tutor, but for standard, it's fine, and, uh, you know, it's nice to get that price down. What do we got left here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight times three, twenty-four. Yes, yeah, so we are officially a third way through the box with three Mythics, so that's pretty good, actually. Uh, Mask of Worms is a solid Mythic. Terror of the Peaks, not a lot of value, but, uh, I'm very excited to, uh, own that card. Temple of Epiphany, I mean, eh, temples, I guess you can always have enough temples. Ooh, we got a... I like to put the uh, showcase cards in with the um, rares. That's just kind of how I do. Helps when I'm bindering and sorting my cards, which I will feature in future videos. Uh, my bindering system. I, I binder all of my commons, uncommons, and rares. Um... So I like to keep my cards nice and organized. It makes it super easy when I'm deck building. What do we got? Uh, Glorious Anthem. Uh, solid. I believe this is a reprint. A Glorious Anthem. I think that that's a reprint. 
Um, you know, let me know if I'm wrong about that in the comment section below. Uh, I have some plans to, like I said, yeah, show you some of my binders uh, in a video, quick, you know, just quick videos, and then I have plans to maybe do live deck techs, unlike, uh, you know, because uh, I can pretty much, based on my collection, build almost any standard deck uh, in modern deck and or pioneer deck that there is right now, because I have, like, every card known to man. Um... So we got, what do we got? Volcanic Geyser, uh, another Bass Rails Lieutenant, the non-showcase version. So, um, quality of lighting, let me know in the comment section below what you think of that in this video. Uh, I have uh, a better lighting system coming in, um, so hopefully the quality will continue to improve each and every video that I do. Uh, there we go. In our four-person draft, we did Mystery Boosters yesterday, and I ended up drafting Black Blue. Heroic Intervention. Solid card. can't believe it got up to about $15, almost $20 at one point. Um, originally, I believe it was Ether Revolt that this was printed, uh, and I had collected heavily in that set. So the foiling, let's see if you can see the foiling. Yeah, the foiling's pretty decent. Um, oh, and Quarian Dried. That card it used to be a rare, I believe it was a M10, M11, maybe M12, somewhere in that range of the uh, time period of Magic the Gathering. I apologize if you, there's some yelling or something going on. Ooh, Mage Mutt. Uh, Mage Mutt. Uh, Chandra's Ma Mag Mutt. I keep calling this a Mage Mutt. I don't know why. Every time I just want to be like, oh, Mage Mutt. Nope, it's a Mag Mutt. So I'll throw that in with the rares here. Here we go. Yeah, black blue. I didn't do so hot. Did not do so hot. I went one and three in our four person drafts. Not the greatest. Double vision. So I just built a Calamax deck, Thunderbutt, um, Lightning Butt, uh, and this will probably slide into that deck. I, it's a little expensive, and I already have a lot of enchantments in the deck, but I think I can find a home for it. And there's definitely a slot somewhere in there. All right, let me take two seconds to tidy up my, my rares and uncommons here before they get too messy, fall over. Slide everything back a little bit. Let's see what we got going on in the next pack. All right. Everyone has a different methodology of opening packs. Sometimes I like to go all down one row. Sometimes I like to do everything. Let's see. What, ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a we got a nice little island. So there, you know, you got three of those uh, so far in the box. That's interesting. Foiling's pretty decent on this. Like I said, I'll have better lighting in the future, so you'll be able to see the shine a little bit more. What we got? Uh, oh, Thieve of the Gilden Force. There you go, camera. I love this card. Um, I'm going to be playing a lot of it uh, in Constructed with uh, Blue Black Flash that I've uh, built on Arena and probably will consider building in person. Who knows when we'll actually be able to play Magic uh, at a store again. I don't know where you guys are based out of, uh, but up here I'm out of Massachusetts, and my local stores are not doing any in-game. Um, we got, ooh, Pack Leader, the best of boys. Uh, yeah, they're not doing anything live right now in-store, which is kind of sad, but uh, things are starting to open up up here. Hopefully you're all doing well wherever you're from, but like I said, yeah, none of our stores are doing it, so... Who knows when I'll be able to go to an FNM and play standard again, so I might build the blue black flash deck in in paper and then not get a chance to play it in until ooh. Conspicuous Snoop. This card uh right here, sorry, let me get it better on camera. Uh big hype for that one in modern. I guess there's a modern uh two card combo with Kiki Jiki or three card combo, uh, Kiki Jiki and a couple other cards that I'm not overly familiar with name wise. So I was never a big goblin guy. Uh, but yeah, who knows? I might end up just converting the standard deck right into uh, modern. Because I think that there are probably... There's got to be a, some other good flash cards in modern. So what do we got? What do we got? Oh, uh, we got a Nyambi Esteemed Speaker. This card's uh, gotten a little bit of hype as well. So 
Yeah. And uh, let me know in the comment section below if you, you know, you like something that I'm doing, if I'm going too fast, going too slow, uh, if you want me to show the commons a little bit more, or if you want me to, uh, you know, show off the uncommons more. Um, you know, some people, ooh, hey, cool, we got another showcase artwork. No, nothing too special, just a generic 7-3 for 5. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get the lands out of the way. There we go. Oh, an Azusa! I only had one copy of Azusa, so I'm really happy that they reprinted this to bring the cost down. Should probably settle somewhere between 5 and $10, hopefully. And I have a lot of commander decks that could use an extra copy of her, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I, you know, I originally think I had her in my red-green <clears throat> deck, and uh, I think now I will put uh, that one in my... Because <sighs> I moved it from my red green commander deck to my Jun commander deck with Lord Windgrace, because it's, you know, land based, so it makes more sense. Um, let's see what we got. Oh, uh, pers <laughs> Pursued Will. Ahab. Captain, my captain. Uh, yeah, that card's hilarious and also not good. But also kind of good in limited. Um, but yeah, then I put it in my uh, Lord Windgrace deck. So now I can probably put her into back into my Gruul deck with uh, Rukthar. The Unbowed? Unbowed? Oh, we got another foil. Ooh, shiny, shiny. What do we got? What do we got? Another Azusa. Back-to-back -back Azusas. Hey, I cannot complain about that. It is just a solid commander card. Love to see it. So that's exciting. Um... So far, I'm over, you know, uh, pleased with this box. A little disappointed by the foil, uh, but hopefully maybe we'll get a second one. I mean, there's definitely some spicy pulls left in this box with only three Mythics, so we got at least, a, hopefully I'll hit five Mythics. I mean, the Mythic count used to be average of four per box. Now it's probably somewhere, I think it's like technically 4.5 per box um, now. So tidy up my piles here. They're getting uh, out of control. And if you're, you see my bracelet here, and I'll be wearing it all the time, PMA. So it stands for Positive uh, sorry, positive Mental Attitude. Let's see if can, yeah, there you go. So I like to keep things positive at all times. I like to, you know, be upbeat. I like to, you know, if someone I see someone who, you know, I know uh, who's down, you know, I'll try and make them smile at, you know, just kind of how I do. So I've got to, yeah, so... You know, uh, my buddy gave it to me. It was his grandfather that uh, actually started it. And so he... What we got? What we got? Ooh. Oh, Bront uh, Brash Taunter. That's a cool little goblin card. Um, so yeah, his uh, grandfather started it. And uh, he's kind of given them away to other people. And uh, carried on the, tr the tradition of always trying to have a positive mental attitude. And ooh, hey, we got another showcase. Cool. Um, and I'll pass the, you know, I'll keep keeping a positive mental attitude. So we got a few packs left to crack. I'm gonna pick up the pace here a little bit. We're just gonna do the rares for, toward, uh, for the rest of this. So we're getting a little long. Ooh, storming and entity. I want a play set of these. I think they're gonna see modern play. Um, so we're not gonna really show anything other than the rare moving forward. Cause we're getting close to the 20 minute mark, which I will get faster at these as we go. And um. Uh, Try and cut down the time for my videos uh, when it comes to pack cracking. Ooh, we got a, a Barin Tolerin Archmage, which will go into my Anala Wizard deck. Ooh, I love this weird artwork. I think it's really cool as a token. Moving on. <laughs> um, yeah, so just kind of a cool thing, you know, always keeps, you know, every time I think I'm kind of like not feeling too hot or, you know, having a bad day when I look at my bracelet it kind of just keeps me on the keeps me on the level oh, uh, feline sovereign let's see let's go a little bit faster yeah so if I was just doing the the rares to start I can sort these I actually timed myself as to how long it would take me to open a case and sort all the commons and uncommons as I was going and uh, 
just because out of curiosity, if I ever wanted to do that for a video, I was like, let's 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 time this. Let's 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 think about this here. Let's let's uh, do this, and uh, I was able to do it in under an hour, which um, it's pretty cool when you think about it. Let's see. Ooh ooh ooh! All right, we got a foil containment priest uh, box topper alternate art. Uh, so my two foil rares were both containment priests. So that is kind of hilarious. Awesome, amazing artwork, super shiny, and the, the, the lashes or whatever swirls there of magic really pop. And hopefully you can see that on camera. Um, yeah, I can, I can get it there. So that's exciting. Not like I said, uh, not the card though. Oh, and a showcase too. Cool. Um, not exactly the rare that you're, foil rare you're looking for, but beggars can't be choosers. Granted, I do get salty sometimes when I open boxes, hence Table Salt MTG. Ha, I've been known to get a little salty from time to time, especially when I'm opening boxes. Like, we're still stuck at three Mythics, so... Where are the Mythics at? As Rudy would say, where are they at? Let's get a little... Come on! But, uh, for real though, where are the Mythics? Like, <laughs> we opened three, and we haven't hit one since. I guess I spoke too soon. Hopefully there's at least one more in here. We got five packs left, so. We got, oh, wow, two temples. All right, two temple of epiphanies. I guess if you're going to get a temple, that's the one you want, question mark? I mean, they're all, they're good for commander. Um, I was a little disappointed when they put those as the land cycle. I was really hoping that they would reprint the other half of the allied uh, pain lands. Um... Because those, they're not super expensive, but they do need a reprint. Let's see. Oh, cool planes. And, oh, discontinuity. Very cool. Uh, you can do some weird things with this card. Um, and then the cool artwork planes. I do like the artworks for the uh, the lands, the alternate land cycle here. But uh, still another. All right, there's my fourth mythic. Maybe, just maybe we'll hit one more. Can I, can I be greedy? Yes, I can. Will I be disappointed if I don't? A little bit. A little bit. Won't be salty. Won't be salty, but maybe. Okay, spell guard are weird. Another pack leader. So there seems to be... Ooh, this one's exceptionally shiny. Holy moly. I'm just going to see that glare. You can, like, flash it back. It's like the sun. Um... Seems to be in this set, I think it was American printed, and there seems to be, their track printing seems to be a little off from what I've been hearing and seeing from friends and online. One more mythic, come on, spicy pull. Uh, yeah, the, the, uh, there seems to be a lot of duplication in this set, which, oh hey, a third foil rare. All right, and this is a good one to have because he's going to go up in value uh, in time. So that's exciting. And another Speaker of the Heavens. So like I said, three foil rares. Cannot complain about that. That's exciting. And then Speaker of the Heavens. So, oh, and a cool Teferi's Tutelage uh, showcase. That's cool. But yeah, the track printing seems to be, I mean, they've been having issues with that as of late. But um, this set seems to be worse than others. Probably hasn't been this bad since War of the Spark, which was weird. Like, he either got a... Uh, Finale box or God box um, for the Mythics. Ooh, another foil, foil planes, and a Solum Simulacrum. You know, hey, Solum Simulacrum. Uh, just a solid commander card. Can never have too many of those. Uh, probably won't see any standard play. Uh, you know, for four, it doesn't do enough. But, hey, you know, whatever. All right, let's just quickly scroll through the rares again, just for funsies. You know, pack leader, discontinuity, so one mythic, epiphany, so yeah, so epiphany, actually let's bring, um, yeah, let's bring that to the front, so we got an epiphany, we know we got a containment priest, I think I, did I get two temple of epiphanies, let's just scroll through real quick. Two, oh yeah, two Azusas, which, uh, if you're gonna get rares, you might as well get those. So we got two Azusas, and then... I think we got two pack leaders. We got two of these, technically. 
There's the other pit, uh, pinball. There's the uh, Grim Tutor. I think there's the other guy. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, oh, I forgot we got a Cultivate, too. There it is, yeah. Alright, so we got... What do we got? We got two Speaker of the Heavens. Two Temple of Epiphanies. Two Containment Priests. And two Morels Lieutenants. And two Azusas. So, what's that? One, two, three, four, five duplicate rares. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of in the future. So, uh, so this is Conrad signing off to, uh, with Table Salt MTG, which I just realized. This is hilarious. <laughs> this entire video, I've had these backwards. So, uh, feel free to make fun of me in the comments below for that. Uh, but, uh, alright, Card Cooks, signing off. And until next time. <laughs>